Sky News reporter Danica De Giorgio is uh, stationed and ready to speak with us. Danica, talk to us about the mood in the UK at the moment. This seems like we've been preparing for the coronation forever. With just a few days to go, what's the general mood like now? Yeah, I think that's probably a good way of summing it up. Hello to the three of you. Good to be with you live from London today. Look, I would say that the mood, it's been a very slow build-up. We only arrived here on the weekend, and every day we've been outside of Buckingham Palace, it appears like uh, it's getting busier and busier. More people are coming in. They're very curious about what's going on, and you can't miss it as you walk down Buckingham Palace. All you see is a number of flags sticking out. That they're, they're everywhere, really, as well as the coronation emblem. Uh, worth letting you all know that we have just got that news in that Anthony Albanese will be meeting with King Charles at the palace this afternoon. So some uh, developing news there, and we will be bringing you the latest on that. But I think people are generally happy. They're excited. I mean, this is a great time for London, for the UK, which is currently in the midst of a cost of living crisis. So they're really hoping that this will... Uh, add some life to, to what's been going on. Danica, Caroline DeRusso here. Uh, it was reported in The Australian today um, that uh, Charles isn't sure whether he'd be welcome here uh, in Australia. And I know, like you've just said in that developing news, that uh, Charles will be meeting with Anthony Albanese today. But do you think that, that there is a, a, a genuine concern? I think it is certainly a genuine concern, uh, particularly given, as the three of you mentioned before, we now have a minister for the Republic. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is a Republic himself and there appears to be momentum gathering in Australia for that Republic movement. I've been speaking to a number of Australians on the streets over the last few days, asking them for their opinions on the monarchy. and. Many have said to me, we don't care, we're not interested, It doesn't. Uh, the monarchy doesn't relate to us. So that really sets the tone. And bear in mind, I have been speaking to a number of younger Australians, but uh, that really, I guess, sums up where people are thinking. So it's interesting, that article, that he doesn't feel welcome. Bear in mind, the King has a long affiliation with Australia. He has visited 15 times. The Queen Consort has visited three times. He's always maintained that a decision on the Australian head of state rely, uh, lies with Australians. But as of yet, he hasn't uh, accepted an invite, not that the Australian government has handed a formal invite to Australia. So I guess we will wait and see when they will visit. Danica, we were just arguing about the Pledge of Allegiance. What's the vibe on the ground there amongst Brits? Are they excited to pay homage? Yeah, this has been a real topical one, hasn't it? This request to pledge your allegiance out loud. Some people say, no, I'm quite frankly embarrassed to be standing in my lounge room saying this oath out loud. <laughs> but others have said, yes, I'm going to do this. And look, we've been speaking to people along the mall here, just outside of Buckingham Palace. So uh, I would preface by saying that a lot of people coming here are visitors, they're exciters, they're excited and are generally supporters of the monarchy. Spoke to a couple of people, few mixed reactions, including from Australians. This is what they told me. You be, will you pledge your allegiance to the king? I most certainly will. Why is that? Well, because he's, he's going he's gonna to be our king. You know, he is our king at the moment. Of course, yeah, absolutely. He's a little bit weird, to be honest. It's a little bit like doing a scout's promise. Will you pledge your allegiance to the king? I certainly will. Why is that? Because I work for him. Planning to. Yes, why is that? Very proud. It's a, it's a proud moment for the country. We're from Canada and yeah we do think of uh, the king as our king and and we'd like to pledge allegiance to him and, and show our support. Yes, so a few mixed views there. I did like that one. It's a bit like a scout's pledge. But, you know, the, the people here, they're very, they're very passionate. And I also asked them, do you believe that this coronation will increase support for the monarchy, particularly given that a new YouGov poll that came out only a few days ago found that 35% of Britons don't really care much about this coronation. But uh, when I asked people that, they said, no, the monarchy is popular. It's, it's really been the saviour of Britain. So there you go. Well, Danica, we appreciate your time. Thanks for being with us and we look forward to more reports as we approach the coronation.